Atlanta area criminal defense attorney is on the other side of the law tonight. Atlanta police say she told a murder suspect to throw away evidence. Fox News Tyler Finger has worked on this story all day. He joins us live in downtown Atlanta with the details. Tyler. Yeah, Courtney, good evening to you. Nicole Fegan represents a defendant in the Young Slime Life gang case. Tonight, she is now in trouble herself. In fact, I've learned she is facing a gang charge. Atlanta area criminal defense attorney Nicole Fegan now needs a lawyer of her own after being arrested in Gwinnett County Friday and booked into the Fulton County Jail. Police say she told a murder suspect he was wanted and to ditch his phone. This stems from a September 2022 deadly shooting in downtown Atlanta. Atlanta police say she contacted a suspect in the case to tell him he was wanted and then told him to dispose of his phone. Detectives say Fegan was not representing the suspect she called and learned about the warrant during a court hearing related to the shooting. You know you got a warrant, right? No, sir. All right, you got a warrant out of the city of Atlanta. Besides Fegan, police have also arrested Keontae Davis in this case. It's unclear if he's the suspect she called, but officers took him into custody last February after he was pulled over for rolling through a red light. This is body camera video from that arrest. Davis is accused of taking part in the deadly shooting, which police say started as an argument. One person was killed and another was injured in that case. Davis faces at least two charges, including murder. I'm confident that you'll come back with a verdict that speaks the truth. For Fegan, and the allegations are a fall from grace for a defense attorney who has been considered a rising star. In a 2019 Facebook post, she shared this article about her from Atlanta Attorney at Law Magazine that calls her the new generation of criminal charges, participation in criminal street gang activity, and solicitation to tamper with evidence. Vegan represents YSL defendant Timquarius Mender. And Fegan has been booked, but at this point, we will not be getting her mugshot because of system issues related to that, uh, related to the uh, the cyber attack that happened last month. We are live in downtown Atlanta tonight. Tyler Finger to Fox 5 News. Tyler, thanks. What's good, YouTube? It's Coffee, and this is crazy. The YSL Rico case already been going down in the record book, says the longest reigning trial in the history of georgia is projected i don't know if it passed that mark yet i think it did but it's projected and they know it's going there you got everything with the rap lyrics can they be used they're being used and you know that whole debate and argument you know you got fanny willis who originally was the same woman that wanted to prosecute trump and young thug ysl and then now she's got the disqualification hearings going on like it's just been crazy it's been a three ring circus but then you add this to the mix this attorney nicole fegan gets arrested and it, like i don't know why you see the different gifts and stuff i use in this video man like she just looks like such a square innocent person right never judge a book by his cover but she reminds me of lisa loeb you guys remember Remember, she was like, turn the radio on, turn the radio off. That was singing my song. Lovers in love and the others run away. I'm just playing, y'all. No, but she really looks like Lisa Loeb. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? I saw this breaking news coming through. Shout out to my guy, Lon Lon the Don, and it just blew my mind. But real talk, there's always some game and everything to take away from everything that goes on. Like we always talk about over here on J Coffee Talk, you don't judge a book by its cover flux stereotypes sometimes stereotypes can be true but at the end of the day it's just a stereotype it's not it's not what it is it's what it often is or what it could be or what it often could be or what it looks like to most individuals who just ain't taking a clear-cut look at what's really going on you know that let other stuff cloud their judgment that can't just mute all the background noise say fluck what everyone else is talking about and um you know wipe the fog off their glasses get the crust out their eyes and look at what's going on now as you heard she's also a rising star very successful attorney but also didn't just get like it's crazy for an attorney to get arrested period okay but it's not like she just got arrested for like, oh, you know, she was kind of doing it. Like, no, they're saying she was flat out taking part in the gang. Like, the individual that she gave the heads up to, like, yo, you got a warrant. I heard him talking about it in court. Make sure you ditch your phone, this, that, and the third. 
that was not even her client, you know? Like, must have been tied to someone who's repping the set. Feel me? Like, she's like, I get on extra grind when it's, when it's repping time. Now, you know, there's statements coming out that she's totally innocent. She's going to post this $40,000 bail and clear her name. But, uh, man, her, her career of practicing law could be over. And I'm not even going to front. I don't know everything, how this works with an attorney being disbarred. You know, like, are they only disbarred once they're convicted of the crime? As how can you disbar someone for just simply allegations? But um, I, I don't think she's going to be able to practice law while the case is pending. I don't think I could be wrong. If someone's in the know, please comment. But this really was just crazy to me. I, I mean to put the icing on top of the cake if you will when it comes to the madness of the YSL case we got Nicole Feagan the kind of nerdy looking Lisa Lobish lawyer getting hit with some serious gang charges and even crazier involved in shootings and homicides and stuff man this is insane I was going to say I wonder how she'll do if she gets convicted in case laid with some time and goes to prison i wonder how she'll do in there but um you know like she don't look like she can hold her own but again that's just a stereotype and then we got to figure if she's putting plays together like that being loyal then again these are allegations allegedly uh to the set maybe she's tapped in and she ain't got nothing to worry about that's even crazier man but that's gonna do it for this one uh Hop in the comments with your thoughts on all this YSL Rico madness. The Lisa Lovish lawyer. Uh, let's talk about it all. Subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. It's coffee and I'm gone, y'all. Peace.